You've probably heard this before, driving slower saves gas. But why does a car going over 60 miles per hour use more fuel than one at 50? Let's break it down. First, aerodynamic drag. When your car moves, it's constantly pushing air out of the way. The faster you go, the harder that air pushes back. Drag force increases with the square of your speed. So when you go from 50 to 60 miles per hour, just 20% faster, you actually face about 44% more air resistance. That means your engine has to work harder, burning more fuel just to fight the air. Next, your engine's efficiency sweet spot. Engines have what's called the brake-specific fuel consumption zone, where they produce the most power using the least fuel. For most cars, that happens around 1800 to 2200 RPM, which usually corresponds to driving about 45 to 55 miles per hour in top gear. At lower speeds, most of your fuel goes toward overcoming rolling resistance, friction between the tires and the road, and drivetrain losses, power lost as heat and friction in gears, axles, and other moving parts. If you drive too slowly, the engine isn't working at its optimal load, so it also becomes less efficient. At higher speeds, aerodynamic drag becomes the biggest enemy. Above 60 miles per hour, the drag increases dramatically, your engine revs a bit higher, and you slip outside that efficiency zone. So more fuel is needed just to maintain speed. For a typical modern sedan, at 40 miles per hour, the engine runs around 1200 RPM, not fully efficient yet. At 50 miles per hour, about 1800 RPM, near the sweet spot, best fuel economy. At 60 miles per hour, around 2200 RPM, higher drag, more fuel burn. That's why EPA highway fuel economy tests are often done around 48 to 55 miles per hour, where cars perform most efficiently. Modern tech helps to adjust some of the issues. Turbochargers boost efficiency at low RPM. CVTs, continuously variable transmissions, adjust ratios to keep the engine in its sweet spot. Hybrid systems can even shut the engine off while coasting or idling. But no matter how advanced the car, physics stays the same. Air drag at higher speeds always costs more fuel. If you love learning how everyday things work, subscribe to the 5WH Lab, where curiosity meets science.